Hello everyone. Hope you have done the last problem which we have discussed in the previous lecture. Now let's move to the next problem. Draw an isometric projection of a cube of edge 32 mm resting centrally on the top face of an equilateral triangular prism having 50 mm base side and 30 mm height. One of rectangular face of the prism is away from the observer and kept parallel to the VP. As you can see, it's a combination of two solids, a cube and an equilateral triangular prism. Here the first solid is a triangular prism, equilateral triangular prism, which is resting on its space on HP, is resting on its base on HP and one of the face of the prism, this face of the prism is away from the observer. So this face, rectangular face of the prism is away from the observer and parallel to VP. So this is the final position. This is the position of solid, first solid, equilateral triangular prism where it is resting on HP on its base, triangular base and then edge or you can say a rectangular face is parallel to VP and the same is away from observer. Now second solid, the cube, that cube is resting on its top face. So this cube is resting on its top face like this. Now two things you have to note is, first is common axis is vertical axis. So the vertical axis of cube and vertical axis or solid axis of the prism is common axis for both or both are coinciding. Second, nothing is given for this cube. Whether this cube is resting on its base but the face is parallel to VP or two faces are equally inclined, nothing is given. So simply we will assume that cube is resting like this. So this will be the final combination. Now, in construction, we will start from the first solid. We will project the base, triangular base here. We will mark the center and then we will draw the projection, complete projection of this solid and then we will put another solid. So, we have to start from the first solid, which is a triangular prism. Now, we know that our isometric projection First is we have to take the isometric length corresponding to the given dimensions and second here the solid is a triangular prism, equilateral triangular prism. So the base is a triangle, regular triangle of size 50. So for drawing isometric projection we have to draw the helping figure. Helping figure for the triangle by taking ISO 50 as side. So for helping figure. We have to draw a triangle, regular triangle of size 50, but using ISO scale. So the length is equals to ISO 50. This is the triangle. Next, we have to enclose this triangle inside a rectangular box starting from first reference side, first base side or first reference side. See this is my first reference side. Now we have to draw lines parallel to and perpendicular to this side, first base side from all the corners. So from all three corners of the triangle, one, two and three, we have to draw lines parallel to and perpendicular to the first base side. So this is the helping box. Size of the helping box is say x y y where the value of x is equals to 50, iso 50 or 50, this is 50 and height is y. Now we have to project this triangle, triangular base on isometric horizontal plane. So we have to take this length x 
or you can say 50 along first iso axis. So taking this length along first iso axis and y along second iso axis. So this is the distance or length. Then next step we have to draw lines parallel to first and second iso axis from both the points. Line parallel to first iso axis and line parallel to second iso axis. Right? So this is the helping box on isometric plane, isometric horizontal plane. Next, we have to locate the center, center of the triangle. So for locating the center or for finding the center, we will draw, we have to draw lines from the corner to opposite midpoint. Common intersection point will be the center here. This is the center, center of the triangle. Next, we have to locate the center also. So, drawing a line parallel to the base, we will get the location or distance from the base. This is say y dash. Now here, the solid is resting on space, which is already there, but on rear side, away from observer, this plane rectangular plane is parallel to BP. So, this edge contained by the face, this edge is away from observer. So, the base, base is somewhere here and the third point, third corner will be on the first reference line. So, these are three points, first point, second point, and third point. So this is the third point. Now we have to locate the center also. As you can see, the distance y dash is from the base, from the rear base. So from this point, the distance is y dash. From this point, the distance is y dash. And then drawing line parallel to first iso axis. Also, this distance is half of 50. This is half of 50. So, from the midpoint and from the midpoint, this is the axis. So, this is the final center of the base. Next, we have to, we have to draw lines from all these corners parallel to third iso axis vertically or parallel to third iso axis in upward direction and the height is height is equals to 30 so again we have to take iso 30 so taking iso 30 iso 30 iso 30 from third corner and iso 30 again join all lines and then marking these corners. So first is take this much distance and mark it or simply draw line parallel to third iso axis from the third corner of the triangle. So these are three points. Again for locating the center first is we can extend these ends Like this. So these are our final points or or we can take distance as discussed in the bottom case. Now this is the final box, covering box or closing box or we can say helping box. Now on the upper face or upper base of this triangular uh, bridge, second solid cube is resting and that cube is resting centrally, centrally on the top face. 
So the center of the cube will coincide from this point. So this is the center of the triangular base and the same point is the center of the cube also. So here we have to take half of 32, 16, half of 32 is 16, half of 32 in all the directions. So from this center we take, we will mark 16, 16, 16 and 16 in all the directions. So marking the distance or gap of 16, 16. Here also from the center 16 and 16. Now we have all four midpoints of the cube. Next, we have to draw lines parallel to first and second isoaxis from these points. So this is the final shape or base of the cube. Next, from all corners, we draw height or lines parallel to third isoaxis. Again, the side or length is same, 32. And we are taking iso 32. So first, 32, iso 32. Second, iso 32. Third ISO 32 and fourth ISO 32. And joining all corners. So, this is the final projection of the combination. Now, outlines of the combination for the part or portion which is visible from our observation. So these are solid outlines or solid edges of the cube which is visible. Now for triangular prism, this is first corner, this is second corner and this is third corner. Now from first, first corner to second corner, if try to join these two corners I think this is the part or portion which is visible and then small like this and this is visible part next the height this is visible yes this is visible and here the base edge is fully visible. And last, the rear edge of the top base So, this is final projection. Next, dimensioning. For dimensioning, we have to show the size or sides of cube 32 32 32 also height is 32 so this is better because if you are writing 32 here this is clear okay next for triangular for triangular press the height is height here is thirty and the side base side is 50 so we have to show this length which is 50 this is 50 so we have two options or two methods of showing 
the side first is you can extend these two lines on the rear side or here also we can extend like this but it is not acceptable to show dimensions of these sides so you have to go to the base showing the bases sorry this must be parallel parallel or extension of second iso axis and last direction of observation from the center preferably from the center so this is the final con okay one thing is missing here also we have to locate the center of the cube so by setting the side upper base or side then we have to draw lines from all midpoints and then from this point to this point this is the solid axis solid axis of the cube only this portion this much portion is visible as axis and then the generator will dominate so this is the final projection